let me show you how you can transfer face groups or as Blender calls them, vertex groups from one object into another. And that's quite cool. It, it took me a while to figure this out. And I thought before I forget, let's make a little video about it. So these two objects are identical. The blue trousers, they in fact have vertex groups over here. That's if you click on that little flux capacitor icon, you can see the vertex groups here. And that is usually used to imply rigging from something. You can also see them in the outliner here. So this is my geometry and these are the vertex groups. And my other pair of trousers, it doesn't have that. So we don't have any vertex groups here. So if I go and click on that, no vertex groups. So let's see how we can transfer these groups from these trousers to this object, which may have gone through a different process of its inception. So what we do is we click the one that doesn't have vertex groups, the basically the target object, then you shift click the source object. So therefore it becomes lighter outlined than the other one. The dark outline means it's kind of a, it's kind of a slave object. The lighter one means it's the active object from which we copy. And then we head over here to this ominous little menu here, which is called the vertex group specials. So not something that <laughs> we would associate with this thing is important type thing. So if we click on that, then we can go and see there's this option here, copy vertex group to select it. And if we click on that, check it out. This happens. Vertex groups have been copied. And if we go and select this object, we now have them. And then we can go and infer rigging from it if we want to do that. So one bit of note, the objects need to be identical. So they have to have the same vertex count and the same vertex order for this to work. They can't have shape keys and they can't have a different resolution either. So one of those things thought I'd let you know about this.